Now I'm going to change from a diameter to a face and take a flatness measurement. So I'm going to bring the probe up using the macro knob, which is the clear anodized inner knob, larger one. And I'm going to articulate the gauge stand down to the 90 degree detent at horizontal. Rotate the position of the probe head. And I'm going to come in to a surface. And then using my setup screen here, and then the course's scale, which is the full travel of the probe, I'm going to come into contact with it. You can see it turned from red to black on the DRO, and the needle comes up. All right, and now I can check my alignment to see how level I am at that location. And it's uh, about a tenth and a half. That's fine. So now I'm going to select from the menu flatness and use the motor. And again, it'll take one revolution. It'll orient all of that information uh, relative to the encoder position. So it doesn't have to take multiple rotations until it hits the encoder zero. Under 12 seconds, you'll get a measurement. And it, it uh, has a polar plot. And I've turned on the optional strip chart here as well. So you can see what that looks like laid out flat. And you can see that I have flatness here of 99 millionths with a resolution of tenths of a millionth. And I've got a spike there that may or may not actually be there. Maybe a dust, maybe a Sharpie mark, uh, maybe a scratch. Uh, but that is what the shape of the part looks like when it's magnified, auto-plotted to um, better than uh, 100 millionths.